Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Monday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and powerful lesson for today. Jesus calls his first disciples, Luke 5, verse 1 through 11. This is the last uh, week in this in this uh, quarter. Uh, we are completing the winter quarter. I mean, trial over trial was the... Uh, the lesson's title for all three sections for the for the uh the entire month of uh February. Amen. And uh we're gonna get ready to move into our lesson. Uh Jesus calls his first disciples. But first I want to ask if anything is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you will subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to get ready to move right into our lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for allowing us to see another day. We thank you for watching over us. God and the strength. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you, Father, that you are such a great and awesome God, that you are our all in all. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father. Lord, we thank you that as we go into your word, Father, that you open our eyes that we see, our ears that we hear, and you give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right, as we stated, our lesson is Jesus calls his first disciples, Luke 5, verse 1 through 11. Amen. We're going to split this one up since we have 11 verses uh, to cut uh, back on the time sum. Uh, verse 1 through 3 says, And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, speaking of Jesus, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. As we see here, uh, the Lord used Peter's boat uh, as a pulpit to teach uh, and preach to the people, for which to teach the multitude. If we yield all our property, everything that we have, and possessions to the Savior, it is wonderful how he uses them and then rewards us. Amen. He, he 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 will reward us greatly if we allow if we allow him to use the vessel and then go forth and see the blessings that he has for us. You know, as the scripture says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and then all these things shall be added. Amen. Verse four through six says, Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep. And let down your nets for drought. Now the preacher, the carpenter, is telling Simon Peter where to go to fish. Amen. And so then uh, verse 5, And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and, and have taken nothing. But nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Simon here is telling you, you know, Master, you know, we, you know, I've been doing this for many years, so I really know what I'm doing. But because you say for me to do so, I'm going to follow your word. Verse 6 says, and when they had thus, and when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes and their net break. As we look here, uh, uh, Jesus told Peter exactly where to find plenty of fish. After Peter and the others had toiled all night without success, they were the, the ones that had the, the knowledge and the understanding of how to go because this was uh, their business. This is what they did for a living. So uh, Peter and them knew when to go out and fish and where the best uh, schools of fish which is normally at. But, but Jesus 
knowing all things, say, now you do what I tell you to do, and you will catch uh, uh, more than you ever dream possible. The omnificent one, the all-knowing Lord, knows where the fish are running. Service carried on by our own wisdom and strength is futile. The secret of success in Christian work is to be guided by God. Though, uh, though an experienced fisherman himself, Peter was, Peter accepted advice from a carpenter, from the preacher, and said, and as a result, the nets were filled. At your word, I will let down the net. I don't think you're right, but I'm going to do what you say anyway, because I am the expert on this, but I'm going to do what you say. But out of humility, out of being obedient, Peter following his instruction, following what Jesus said to do, he was uh, more than compensated for what he told him to do. And said, so this shows the value of humility, of being the, of uh, teachability and implicit obedience. Not just being humble enough to do what he asked him to do. Not just being willing to receive a, a teaching and understanding a, 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 a different way of doing things than what he was used to doing, but following direction to the letter is what helped Peter to receive what God had for him at that moment. Verse 5 through 9, and they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, said, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and uh, uh, he was astonished, and all that were with him at the drought of fishes, which they had taken. You know, you know, uh, the 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 nets is filled up, and they began to try to pull them in, and they, they, it was too much for one boat, so they called over their partner. This young man had a business. This was his lifestyle, so he knew what he was doing. But Jesus, of course, knows all, and he tells them where to go. He tells them where to drop the net and how to drop it in the depth. Not don't get right there on the edge. Don't just get to here in this area. G go deep for it. Amen. It says sometimes, you know, many times we have to go deep for what we are after to, to, to be able to be successful in doing what the Lord would have us to do. Amen. It, said, it was in deep waters that the nets were filled uh, uh, to the uh, breaking point. In deep waters, sometimes we got to we got to step out there. We kind of get we got to get away from the edge. We got to get away from the needless water, and we got to get away from the wasteland water, and we got to get away from the water that you know just come right there at our chin. We got to go way out there and get into deep water that we can receive what God has for us. So we must quit hugging the shore and launch out on full surrender's tide. Faith has set its deep, faith has its deep water and so do suffering, sorrow, and loss. It is these that fill the nets with faithfulness, amen, with fruitfulness. This is what brings in fruitfulness is when you go way out there because as long as you stand on the edge, you, you ain't going to get the, the, the big catch. You want the big catch, you got to go way on out there and reach and get it, amen. The net began to break and the ships began to sink. Christ directed service uh, 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 sir, produces problems, but what delightful problems they are. They are the kind of problems that thrill the heart of true fishermen. Now then, Jesus, you know, he tells them, you know, uh, 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 he, done, he done got them a, 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 a load of fish that they've never caught before, enough for, to fill both boats up uh, and, and beyond. And, and so, because of them being obedient, because of them being obedient. So this is the best catch they've ever had. So it is now, so this is the way we're going to fish. This is how we can make a bunch of money. This is how we can become rich. Is this how they do it? No. 
They, they turn it all loose. We got to turn it all loose to him. Amen. Verse 10 and 11 say, And so was also James and John, the son of Zebedee. These were the ones in the other boat, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all and followed him. They did what he said do. But instead of Oh, this is how you catch the large uh, 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 school of fish. This is how you get a fish to get to, to, to bring in a, a boatload of money. No, he has the knowledge that foresees and, and goes past and beyond what is right there. He has the knowledge. I need to follow him so I can learn some more. I, 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 I ain't going to worry about that. I'm going with him and learn some more. And then he can say, I'm going to catch men? What do he mean by uh, 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 I'm going to catch men in, in, in this form? What does he mean by this? So Peter is curious. He said, no, I'm, uh, he said follow me. I'm going to follow him. I ain't going to stay back here because uh, uh, because I've got more fish than I ever had and I can make more money than I ever made. No, I'm going to follow him. Amen. It was uh, while Peter was engaged in his ordinary employment, main thing, stay busy, that Christ called him to be a fisher of men. While you are waiting for guidance, do whatever your hands fine to do. Every disciple he had was working. They weren't standing there twiddling their thumb. They weren't sitting on the side of the road. They were busy. Do it with all your might. Do it heartily as to the Lord. Just as a rudder guides a ship only when it is in motion. So God guides men when they too are in motion. When we are in motion, when we are trying, when we are still is reaching out to do something, then God can guide us. Christ called Peter from catching fish to catching men, or more literally, taking men alive. What are all the fish in the ocean compared to the incom incomparable privilege of seeing one soul, one for Christ, and for eternity. As we look at it, and, and as I step ahead in my mind, thinking about Peter, Peter catches a, 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 a two two boatloads of fish at one time, and then as after Jesus uh, has has come back and 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 has been uh, has been put on the cross and and has uh, resurrected and has come and spoke to him and 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 and, and brought him back under his arms and and, and then in left and went with, with his father, which was in heaven. Then he said. Then Peter steps out, and and after uh, 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 after the, the the Holy Spirit come upon him, then he opens his mouth and bring in three thousand. First preaching. Come on. He said, you're going to bring in men. And then he shows them, here's your men. I'm telling you that you can bring in. He brings in three thousand on his first uh, 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 preaching. Amen. As, as, as we look at this, we see Peter, James, and John pulled their boats up on the beach and forsook all and followed Jesus. On one of the best busy days of their lives, how much hung on their decision. We probably never would have ever heard of them if they had chosen to stay by their ship. Let us reach out. Do something for the Lord. Work for the Lord in some way, in any way possible. And then he will take us out for the, he will bring us out to a, a, a bigger, a, a better, and a, a, a more prosperous manner in doing the kingdom work. Doing the, life, the work that will, lie, will last an eternity, not just uh, today and not just tomorrow. Such a powerful and wonderful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a great and blessed day. God bless you.